Welcome, Chris. Uh, it's been a pleasure to to get to spend some time with you. I know that uh, you know you were here with Bank of Oklahoma, and um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about code security and and some of the initiatives that you and your team are using to solve uh, developer security inside of your organization. Uh, can you explain to me a little bit about why the uh, the gravity of why securing your developer software development lifecycle is so important to the Bank of Oklahoma? Yeah, I, I think for everybody, the the big aha moment happened with SolarWinds and in the immediate aftermath, uh, when everybody realized how critically important it was to secure things as small as API keys that might be leaked accidentally into Git repos or productivity tools like Jira and Confluence. We saw how a, a single mistake by a r- relatively young developer cost that company uh, and, and honestly, all sorts of organizations a lot. Yeah, I think that the uh, the blast radius for secrets is uh, is disproportionate to what I think most people see when they look at a, a hard-coded secret in their code. Um, they think, oh, I'll just go back and fix it a little later on down the line. And and the unfortunate thing is sometimes people don't realize that those secrets leak, and it's not but two or three months later that that actual key may be used in compromise. So you think that you're okay and you're in the clear. Um, can you say that, uh, you know, how are, how are you integrating uh, code security into your software development lifecycle today? How, you know, what kind of controls do you have in place to protect your developers from themselves, if you will? Yeah, so we've got it integrated in a couple different um, points. Uh, the first is on the uh, Git repo itself. So every time a developer does a commit, that commit is scanned for API secrets uh, and some other stuff, secrets in general. Uh, if those are found, an incident is is created, uh, and we've had tremendous success with that. Um, you know, the goal, right, is to prevent all other solar winds type compromise. We had a developer who had a AWS API keys. He accidentally committed them into the the Git repo, and we were alerted to that incident and were able to remediate it in less than five minutes. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah total exposure. So, I mean, that's that's the win right there. Uh, we're also integrated into productivity tools. So we're looking for secrets being leaked into Jira and Confluence, which is another place where it's all too easy to accidentally put something because I'm documenting what I'm doing. 